Hello, welcome to Good Health Promotion once again. And today I'll be talking about detox and why it is very important for you to consider doing a detox. There are so many things that goes on within your body system and when you leave that for so long, then you create an avenue for so many other illnesses to, to thrive within your body system. And you know, we believe within you know the holistic therapy um, world that you should do a detox about two times a year. And normally we recommend doing a detox within the spring and the autumn time of the year. But even having said that, you can also do a detox at any point in time in the year, regardless of um, when we recommend as the best time to do a detox. And you know, there are so many things people don't pay attention to, as well as the pesky parasites that lives within the gut. You know, when I talk about parasites, I'm referring to worms. You know, so many people don't really realize that their body system or their gut system could be a home to so many worms like thread worms, like um, um, round worms and so many other types of worms. But how would you know if you have worms infestation? One of the things you might notice is you might have nauseous feelings, you might feel unwell sometimes, you might feel um, a lot of upset belly. Sometimes you might have symptoms, symptoms that tend to look like IBS. And you know, the things that you can experience when you have a worm infestation within your gut system is a lot. You really cannot tell how your body system will react to all these pesky invaders. So having said that, we will be focusing on detox today. And one of the things that we have decided to do on a regular basis within Good Health Promotion is to educate and to promote health. Thank you for joining. My phone is a bit on the upside down right now, so it's so hard to see your name, but thank you for joining. So one of the things we want to be doing within Good Health Promotion is to educate, to teach people to take charge of their own health in the best way possible. And one of the ways to do that um, within Good Health Promotion is educating within holistic um, types of therapies like holistic way of living, a natural way of living where you can take charge of your health to be um, as healthy as you want to be. So I'm going to be teaching tonight actually. So now um, we're going to be talking about the gut health which I initially said. So when we talk about your gut, you know, oftentimes we refer to the gut as the second brain. And when we say gut, we mean your intestines, we mean your, your, your liver, we mean your pancreas, we mean your gallbladder, you know, all those systems within, um, especially, you know, more to the abdominal side of, um, you know, the lower part of the body. So some of the things that you have to pay attention to there is, you know, there are illnesses such as, um, you know, when they say leaky gut and you begin to wonder, well, what does that mean? You know, a leaky gut is a malfunction of, you know, the, the intestinal side of the, of the body when it is not functioning as properly as it should. So, um, moving on from that, um, you know, some of the causes of um, the reason why you might have a toxin build up within your body system is due to poor diet, you know, chronic stress and, you know, things like that. Not eating properly too can also wear your, 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 your vital organs down, especially the gut um, organs relating to the gut system. So, you know, we refer to the gut as the second brain because we believe that most of the illnesses that um, people experience always starts with the gut. And you know, the gut and the brain are often interacting all the time. So, um, another thing I was going to share is the issue of a toxin overload. 
So when you have a toxin overload within your system, it means your, your system is going to be impeded in the way it should function. You want your system to function at at least 90% optimally, but when your system does not perform as healthily as you want it to be, then you know you become very prone to illnesses, you become so prone to so many things and you know the list could just go on and on so um the other thing i was going to share is um what you need to do to improve your gut brain connection so in three steps and um, one of them is to avoid um, processed food for lack of nutrients because every time you eat processed food you are not getting enough nutrients that your body needs for you to stay healthy because it's been, that's why it says it's, it's been processed. So you have little or no nutritional value in what you, you're eating. That is one. And then the other thing is when you do not take um, a lot of probiotics as well, that is also going to be a little bit detrimental because you need a lot of probiotics within your system, especially to maintain and enhance your gut health. And then, um, you know, some people have gluten intolerance, but even if you do not have gluten intolerance, you should eat less of gluten, um, gluten or gluten type of any food containing gluten, so to speak. And then, um, when you eat, um, oils, you know, some oils are considered more healthy than the other. So one of the healthy oils that I would recommend would be olive oil, flaxseed oil, and um, coconut oil as well. And then um, avocado oil is another good one. And then mushroom is also highly recommended as well for your gut health because it contains um, the B vitamin. And the B vitamin has a very good effect on neurotransmitters and you know neurotransmitters how information is being dissipated around your brain so um, you know if you do not get enough from the food of course it's highly recommended to use um, natural or supplements um, or multivitamins but you want to get as much nutrients naturally from the food you eat that's one and then um, if we go back for a second to the causes of, um, you know, why people have, um, why you need to do a detox, because you can imagine um, over the course of 365 days a year, many times people tend, because of the sedentary life that we all live, you know, many times people perhaps don't have, you know, enough time to pay so much attention attention to self-care and well-being so which means a lot of the time people do not have time to eat so well and you know that is also um, the cause for issues within the gut system we're talking about allergens you know which you might find in some processed food and all the likes of that so um, you know and then you know over the years um, a lot of scientific research has been done to find out why people have so many sorts of illnesses and why people just become unwell. So one of the things that um, was proven by research um, is, um, you know, the leaky gut, which I said earlier on, um, which is an intestinal malfunction and, you know, certain tiny particles that should never be able to enter the bloodstream then goes into the bloodstream and when that happens you know it, it's called a leaky gut and you know that then begins to cause another problem within your body system but the main focus today is we want to talk about detox and the importance of detox so within good health promotion we have um a very fantastic blend of detox and we recommend you taking a five meal of this which is um, a combination of nettle and dandelion and dandelion is um, known in herbal medicine as a cleansing agent which is very very good in helping your body to 
to do a proper detox and then it cleanses the liver and the gallbladder in the process so these are the sort of things that you want to be doing as regularly as possible so i um i'm taking advantage of the spring season to do my detox and i will be taking a five meal of this and i would put that i would pour some hot water and cover that for about five to ten minutes and then i would sieve that out and drink it i could do that maybe about two or three times a day or even once a day depending on what i'm really desiring to achieve but the bottom line is it's very important to do a regular detox because that is the only way you do the cleansing of your internal organs you might be able to get rid of as much toxins that shouldn't be within your body system that are found away there so thank you so much for um, the time you have taken to listen and watch me share this today so Thank you and I hope to see you again some other time. Bye.